Hi there, this is part two. Um, what I want to do in this is to tidy this particular scene up. You've seen the thumbnails, everything's nice and tidy and fits great. But in this scene, because we've zoomed the, the, the background set up, it's got bigger, it's sort of, sort of overcutting where our camera is. If we go and print this out, it's also going to print this out, and I don't really want to do that. Um, so let's zoom back a little bit. Let's pull back from the canvas so we can see it better. And we need to select this particular layer, so that's the beach layer. So I have that little layer selected as that on that tab. Let's go and select um, the rectangle cutter. And we're just going to go and click around there to sort that out and hit delete on the keyboard. And same with this guy here. So just tidying up the look of it, basically. Okay. And same with the girl. So switch the girl back on, on the front layer. Just want to chop her feet off out of frame because they are out of frame. Now, just to make sure you're doing things right, let's go back to our selection tool. So don't actually accidentally go and um, start cutting things out further. So I want to want to say to her on here. Um, I'm going to look in the actions folder now. I want to put the walk forward arrow in there. So click and drag that into the scene. Again, now I'm on my selection tool. Group around it. Then you select all of it. Then you can sort of scale it. And maybe squeeze it a little bit. Maybe like that. So she's going to be basically walking forward. Now, um, when I'm selecting things, for instance, I do always do that to select it. I always uh, loop around to select the whole object. If you don't do that, if I just click off that, if I just go and try and select the object, what you actually end up selecting is just part of the object. Okay, so that's why I'm doing that. Um, I'll imagine there is a Control A might do that, you know. Yeah, Control A also selects everything. So, different ways of selecting. I can either select around the whole thing on that particular layer, for instance, or another quick way is just hold down Control and then the A key. That selects everything as well. Um, yeah, so there we go. Let's put, um, let's write something in here. Uh, for that, I'm going to have to go and swap out to my Wacom tablet, uh, which is here, and get my Wacom pen. So what I want to do now is to uh, zoom back in again. So let's go and zoom back in. Plus key, plus key. And then hold down the shape, uh, the spacebar to pan around. So I can also, in this particular scene, um, do some notes or do some extra drawing on it, for instance. So, for instance, she might be a uh, pirate. She might she might have an eye patch. Uh, we can go and draw an eye patch in. So let's go and click on the pen tab here. Now I've got different types of pens that you can set up. I want to set one up that's got. Um, a soft finish to it. So let's just quickly show you what they're looking like. So, pen is uh, selected. Click on that. It's giving me a nice soft look to it. I'm going to undo that. I can go to a rough version. You can see what a rough one's going to look like as well. So let's undo that. Let's select this guy, which is pen seven, and the size is 27. We can make that a bit bigger. So how's that looking? It's looking a bit better. Okay, Control Z. What I want to do now on this uh, walking forward. So currently the layer we're playing on is the arrow layer probably not the best layer to play with. Let's put it on the uh, front layer. So now we can put her eye patch on here. So let's go basically give a really basic eye patch. So there we go. Like that. I'm going to knock the um, size down a bit. It's about 28. And then we can sort of give her this proper eye patch. Really badly drawn, but you get the idea, don't you? The idea. Hello. Dear, 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 dear. Yeah, and she might have, um, I don't know, a skull and crossbones on a t shirt sort of thing. So let's put that as a really badly drawn idea of what the skull's going to look like in the crossbones. Okay, there's my fantastic drawing skills. Yeah, simple as that. Um, that will do, won't it? I think. There you go. So uh, there you have it. If you want to erase anything, you've got the erase tool here. You can get rid of things. Now be careful because you're on this layer. You've now got rid of everything, which is not a good <laughs> idea, is it? So we also have undos as well. We're going to get rid of those things that way. So 
if you wanted to put the eye patch, the the the, um, the advantage of this is if I go and select my character now, um, yeah, I'm selecting all of her, so she'll all move with the eye patch as well. Yeah, and because she's on her own layer, uh, Control A, she's easy to move around as a whole item. Yeah, so if I, if I had my eye patch on a separate layer, um, it wouldn't move with it. Um, yeah, that's just a little extra few things. We'll come back and do some more uh, stuff in a minute. So, yeah, just a little extra one on that one. So with that, we'll call that the end of that one. It's a shorter one, isn't it? Right, um, catch up for part three in a bit. <laughs>